This is lesson five of the professional briefings that I'm giving out as a driving instructor. Um, so I'm going to be teaching Crossroads in this video and this is um, done in two parts. Um, so this video isn't ridiculously long. I'm going to do it as Crossroads 1 when you're coming up on the minor road here. And when I do the next video, which will be Crossroads 2, I will turn the picture around and we'll be on the main road. Um, when we do Crossroads 2, you'll be learning about near side to near side and off side to off side turns. But in the fear of this video being ridiculously long, I'm going to just hold back and do Crossroads 1 on this occasion. OK, so we've still got all of the routines that you've learned. OK, so when you're coming up to this, we're still going to be doing MSM, which comes into MSPSL, which comes into MSPSL and then LADA which you've learned on all of the previous lessons that I've been teaching here on these professional briefings. So I don't need to go through all of that. We don't need to talk about how to approach this. You're going to be looking to see if it's open or closed, like I taught you in the last lesson. OK, so all of that is just a given now. All right. So we're now talking about the new junction itself. OK, so you're coming up on the minor road here and there's another minor road here and the major road has priority. All right. So this is the warning sign that you can uh, get with it. And um, you may even have a giveaway um, sign, which is which you'll be able to see from quite far back as well. But you'd be able to see the road markings on the floor as you as you come up. You'd also see um, breaks in the houses. So you'd see houses up here and a road crossing. So you, you'd know that you're coming up to a crossroads. Now, this is uncontrolled, which means there's no traffic light with it. So it's up to you to give way or stop or whatever the design is. It may even be completely unmarked. And if that was the case, if no lines were here at all, then you would approach it as if you're on the minor road where the giveaway line is. It doesn't matter which side you're coming up. You would always pretend it's you're on the minor road if it's unmarked. But this is marked and we've got the... Um, minor road um, very obviously at the top and the bottom here and the giveaway lines okay so you may be coming up here now if you are approaching at the same time as a car on the other side yeah so you're they're both cars are coming up like that all right so if you approach at exactly the same time then there's a rule about who goes first in this situation all right. So the main road clearly has priority first. You've done loads of um, T junctions. So you know that you can't come over this line until the main road is safe. Right. So that's pretty obvious because you've done minor road approach before. Open and close, blah, blah, blah. But if there is somebody now approaching on the new road, because this is a new junction to you on the minor road here, if you're approaching at exactly the same time, then there is a rule about who goes first. So I teach it like this. If you're coming up and you've arrived at the same time as the other person exactly, then the rule is this. If you're turning left, you're going into the first road that you could choose like that. So let's just say that there's no parked cars or anything like that. It's just totally clear. All right. So the only main person that you're affecting other than the pedestrians and we're just taking all that pedestrian stuff and, and park cars out of the way. The only other moving person that you're officially sort of interacting with is the somebody coming down this road here. All right. So if you're turning left, you're going into the first road. So just one here. I'm going to write on here. One. All right. You can just about see that. So that's one turn. You're disturbing kind of officially one person. OK, so if you are going straight on, then you're going across this road this lane and this lane here to get to the other side. So that's two. Yeah. So one into the first road and across one, two. So then if you're turning right like this, then that would be the two that we've just discussed. And then as you turn, you're going past this one as well. So that's three. OK, so you've got one, two, three. Now, if I turn the picture upside down, which I'm not going to bother because it's just messy on the video. But this person would have the same rule. So as he comes up, this would be his one. As he goes straight on, that would be his two. And then as he turns right, that would be his three. So if they both arrive at the same time, the rule is whoever's got the least amount of turns to make 
is the person who can go first because it disturbs the least amount of people. They're not crossing anyone or, or doing any, or, you know, doing anything too difficult. All right. So if they've arrived at the same time, if this person is going this way and this person wants to go that way and they've arrived at the same time, then this person would go first. OK, because he's not crossing anyone or doing anything that's too uh, crazy. It's closer to him. It's easier. All right. So that person's going right across. So if both cars are trying to go this way, then this person is going to have the priority first. Now, you do have to be very careful. OK, I am always pleasantly surprised. People do follow these rules quite nicely. I've been a driving instructor for a very long time, 21 years, and I am pleasantly surprised at how people do follow this rule um, quite nicely. I'd, I'd give it like an eight out of 10 for people to follow the rule nicely. So as you approach you're the work person who's going to be going first if you've arrived at the same time, if you're both going that way. So if you're going straight on and this person wants to turn to the right and you've arrived at the same time, in this case, you would still go first because you're not crossing anyone and he's doing a really tricky crossing turn. So again, if you've arrived at the same time and you're going straight on and he's turning right, then you still go first. So now... If we talk about turning right, if you signal in England, you're not going to have priority unless there's a green filter arrow. So signaling to the right, it, 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 there's something to worry about. OK, so um, because you're crossing traffic in, in England because we drive on the left. So the only time that we've ever got priority is if you've got a green filter arrow. So if we come up here and we're signaling right, then we're going to have to be very careful of that person. So say, for instance, we both arrive at the same time and this is attempting to happen. Yeah, so we're both trying to go this way. Then he's only got his one and now we've got the three. All right, so he would go first. All right. And if he's going straight on and you're turning right, then again, he's going to go first. All right, just the same. So it's the same on both sides. Now, remember, the main road has priority first. OK, don't forget the main road's got priority. But if you're arriving at the same time as the other person, OK, then you're following this one, two, three method. If you're going left or straight and the other person's turning right, you should have the priority there because you're not crossing traffic. The turn that you're making is pretty straightforward. All right. So if you arrive first and you've been trying to do the junction and he comes up later, none of this matters. All right. It's like being in a queue at Sainsbury's. If you're standing there, yeah, with your pineapple and then somebody behind you tries to go in front of you, you're going to be angry, right? Because you've been there first. You've been waiting for longer. All right. So you go first. So even if you're trying to do the three, if you've arrived first and you've been waiting for some time and you're trying to check the road like this and then somebody swans up here much, much later and then there's a gap on both sides for you to be able to go, it's almost like rude for him to go first. You've got to be very careful that he doesn't go first because people obviously do do stuff like that. So you're going to have to be very, very careful of the other person stealing priority. All right. But just be super careful. And in your in the back of your mind, you can be like, I have arrived first, so I'm going to make a play for this next gap. But I am also going to be checking to see if he's going to be cool about it. Right. Because obviously you don't want to have an accident here. And that goes with that goes with all of the turns. Right. This is the way to do it. However, you know what people are like. Right. They're in a rush or they've forgotten the rules or. um they don't care about the rules or they see you're a learner um, or they don't like the look of you, whatever. Yeah. Or they're in a rush or whatever and they don't pay attention or they don't want to do it. Now, you'll be able to tell people like that a little bit because they'll be, say, for instance, someone's turning right here and you're trying to turn left. If this person on the other side isn't even bothering to look at you and he's creeping out of the junction and he's got his wheels turned to the to his right a little bit and he's just not bothering to look at you, I'd be really careful. All right. Be seriously, seriously careful because it looks like he's going to nick your priority. All right. If you come up and you look at him and you've arrived at the same time and he's just looking straight at you, probably a good sign. Probably going to be doing it all properly. But again, double check. If anything stops you from seeing through the glass, so uh, sunlight or whatever, and you can't see through, then again, take extra caution. Be very, very careful. 
all right? So if you arrive at the same time, you can use the one, two, three method. One and two is going to have priority over the person who's turning right, okay, whichever direction. And if you're, um, and if you arrive first, then you get priority. And if he arrives first, then he gets priority, but with serious caution, okay? Obviously check very, very carefully to make sure that it's running properly and everybody's following the rules correctly and in giving way as they should, okay? Now, if this ever happens, <clears throat> Then you've obviously got two people who are doing the right turn, all right? So you're both doing the three, all right? Now, in this case, it, you, it's not going to be the near side to near side and offside to offside stuff because that happens when you're on the major road. This, this situation here, there's often not a lot of space, so one of you is going to have to give way to the other. Right. So I know that people cut the corner here when they see a gap and they cut the corner here, which is bad driving practice. And they cut the corner there. So they do make it a near side to near side turn, like a left doors to left doors, which we'll talk about later. That is that is a possibility and stuff like that happens, but it shouldn't really happen. In this situation, one person should be going before the other. Now, obviously, like I said before, if you've arrived first, then you get the priority with caution and vice versa. If he's arrived first, then you should give priority to him. Yeah. Um, but if you have just exi exactly um, arrived at the same time, then you need to look through the glass. All right. You need to look at the person in the car and there needs to be some kind of understanding between you about who's going to go first. Now, as a learner, we're not allowed to beckon or anything. We're not allowed to flash our lights. We're not allowed to um, make that person go with a hand signal. But I would just look straight at them and just make sure that you understand what's going on. Now, they, if they've got their full driving license, they may beckon you. They may use their hand um, or, you know, to sort of say, come on, beckon out. Or they may even flash their lights. If that's the case and you see that, make sure it's for you. All right. Make sure that they're not communicating with like a pedestrian or something or whatever. Um, and then check the major road before you go. So if you look at them and you get a beckon, fine, lovely. Then you look at the road and then going. All right. If, if they've let you go. Now, if you look at them and you're just looking at them on your driving test, we can't beckon. But if you're looking at them, they might then go, thank you, because they accept it as a beckon and then they will go. All right. So just make sure that you're not um, using beckons yourself, but you can take them if you need them. All right. OK. OK. So obviously that's covering crossroads one i don't want to make it too long by turning the the page and starting to talk about the major road and ma major um near side to near side and offside or offside yet yeah, it will make it will make the video way too long all right but i'll do um lesson six on crossroads two with near side to near side and offside to offside um really good pictures of that in the highway code obviously when when you when it comes to it but i'll i'll come around to do that it's the next lesson plan so i'll, I'll release it soon <clears throat> so, like I say, be very, very careful, okay, about people not following the rules. But like I say, I am always pleasantly surprised people do follow these rules quite nicely. I've been on the road for a very, very long time, 43 this year, I've been on the road since I'm, uh, I was 17. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm always pleasantly surprised. But do be careful, all right, because I have seen people still priority or they don't understand, or they even give up priority. So they'll see that you're a learner and then like the little old like granny in there or whatever, or the kind person will be like, oh, you go first. And she's she's doing an easy left and you're doing a right. And you'll be like, really? Um, okay. Um, so people may give up their priority for you to turn. And that's lovely, you know, but then people may steal your priority as well. All right. If you've got a long line of traffic behind you, then every time it shuffles up. All right. Then you're going to need to then think about who arrived first. And you're going to have to be really like, if it's rush hour or something, you're going to have to be really, really careful because 
people may be in a mood with this situation, you need to take extra caution by looking through the glass of the car and making sure that those people are on board. Because if you've been waiting for ages and then that person goes and then you've been waiting for ages and the next person goes and then you've been waiting for ages and the next person goes, you're going to start getting angry about it because you've, you were there before some of those people who are coming up. So follow the rules. If you arrive at the same time like that, then you know think to think about who's got the priority with one two three method otherwise look through the the glass see who's going to be kind to you see you know see what their reactions are what their behaviors are see which direction they're going know which or direction you're going make sure you're signaling yeah really really important um and yeah hopefully that really helps okay so um i'll get to crossroads two in a bit um and yeah crossroads one is now done